short Pase piche yaar aaj kal din de chhod Jad pave sanu lor Pane muu din de mor Hoke kam koi ni anda karo sare gor Not happening to me. Fuck now to fuck my wife in my old bed. Hey, you! Stop it! What's up, man? Get out of my way. Michael, calm down. What the fuck is going on? Nothing happened. It was a misunderstanding. She fucked the frick in my bed. <laughs> you bullshitting me. It wasn't like that. You in? Fuck it. I'm in. Let's roll. Let's get this motherfucker. Just don't kill him. Okay, homie? What happened? The guy bounced my wife is what happened. Which guy? The guy I'm paying to teach her tennis. The tennis coach? Oh, that's fucked up, man. You risk dudes, homie. You know, back in the hood, man, we gotta watch out for the mailman. What the? Watch out for the mailman, dog. Yeah, I'm a cuckold, a snob, and a fucking cliche. Hey, let's just keep on going. The fuck is he doing? Hey, get out the way! Motherfucker! Fuck, man, I think we lost his ass. He lives somewhere up in the canyon. We'll find him. Where'd that slimy little white fucker go? Keep your eye out. That's his car, right there. Little prick's up there, look. Oh, shit, Cole's doing all right for himself. Hey, asshole! You ran off before we could settle our debts! Michael, fuck! You got the wrong idea, man! Hey, think the world owes him a living. There's a winch in the back of the truck. Tied a cable to one of those supports up there. You finna pull his deck down? Hey, that prick pulled my marriage down. Man, you really gonna be this fucking dramatic? Yeah, whatever. I told you I comp the session, bud. Well, there were a lot of freaking sessions, bud. I'm thinking you were working on more than just her backhand. Mandy's backhand has come a long way, bro. 
But sometimes it's gotta get worse to get better. Yeah, well, maybe I should come up there and practice my backhand. On your face! Oh, bud, your negative energy is seriously bringing me down. Oh, I hope it is, bud. We hooked up, man. You come into my house, take my money, and nail my wife? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna stick up my hand and say that was uncool, bud. My bad. Seriously. Oh, how fucking magnanimous. May I please offer you my applause? You fucking motherfucker! Dude! And we'll see how you like it when someone fucks with your shit! Well, oh, hey! Wait! You got the wrong idea, pal! Whoa! Fuck! Here we go! Ha-ha! Let's see what happens! Dude, you are probably crazy! <laughs> oh, shit! Sorry, man, I'm sweating already! Man, get some force from that motherfucker! I think that shit's coming down, man. Oh, hell yeah, homie. You know what time it is. Oh, fuck! Yeah! Huh, come on! Fuck, man, fuck! Mr. DeSanta, what? What the hell? That's not my house! Bullshit. Oh, bro, I couldn't afford a place like that. I'm a tennis coach. I hit balls for a living. I was just hiding there. Give me a phone! You! You're a dead one! Green light! Green light! Martin Madrazo, give you green light! Oh, I'm scared, lady. Just fucking terrified. Yeah. Green light! Green light! Madrazo! Fuck you! Hey man, that's some mean looking motherfucking essays right behind me. Oh, that was quick. Alright, help me deal with this. I'll give it a go, man. Keep trying. Come on, kid. Get the fence. Go to a shooting range. Work on your aim. You'll do fine. Oh, fuck, man. Shit, you good? Fine as wine. Got a few knocks. You okay? I mean, you did good, kid. Man, I'm cool, man. I mean, you. Mentally. Mentally? Oh, man. I'm fucking excellent. My heart ain't pumped like that in years. Oh, yes. Fucking A, Bubba. Man, you sound kind of manly. You just been greenlit by the Mexican underworld ambassador to Los Santos. Trust me, we handled it. Wherever the fuck Martin Madrazo is, I've known worse. We just handled a few low-ranking crimes. We sit on it, we see what happens. Kid, there's no use second-guessing. Felt good, man. Woo! Yeah, doing something for a change. Man, you know what? You are wasting shit by that fucking fool, man. You're right. 
I need to do something. Scotch and sunshine is sitting on my ass. Fuck that. I'm better than that. Damn skippy, homie. All that knowledge up there is withering and dying, dawg. You don't pass that shit on, it's gone, homie. I bet you know some shit. You wouldn't believe the shit I know. Yeah? You taking some scores? There was a time, that was all I did. Shit, well, you know, I could tell you some shit, too. Yeah, like what? About the city I was born and raised in. Whew. Hey, thanks for the help out there today, kid. I had no idea it was gonna get that hot. Shit, pulling houses off the hillside sure has a weird way of fucking with people. Yeah, well, I thought I was through with all that shit. I don't know what the hell's going on. Oh shit, I think we're about to find out. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Do you? No. Who you? You? I think so. Good. I know who you are. I know where you live. Who are you? I'm Franklin. License. No, Franklin. Maybe help Mr. DeSanta here. Who am I? I think Martin Madrazo. Good boy. Now maybe give him a little of a background. Man, Mr. Madrazo... It, Mr. Madrazo is a legitimate businessman who was wrongfully accused of running a Mexican-American gang and a narcotic ring, but the charges were dropped because of the witnesses came up missing. Smart kid. Now, Michael, I've got a question for you. Uh, uh, did you pull an architectural, significant, modernist, wonder home down the hillside in Vinewood Hills? I thought the owner was banging my wife. Well, that was a strange house for a tennis coach. I'm always thinking straight. Mm, clearly. Yeah. Well, Natalia will need a hotel while you finance a rebuild, won't she? Sure. Good. And I'm guessing here that it, the rebuild uh, will be somewhere in the 2.5 million range? <laughs> of course. Great. That's nice. Come on, man. Damn, you all right? Never better. So what now? <sighs> Looks like I'm gonna have to postpone my retirement. Fuck. Ah, oh, man, I'm mortgaged up to my eyeballs. Look, I only know one way to make money. I'm gonna have to give an old friend a call. Lester. I think he's in town somewhere. I'm gonna have to track him down. Just give me a little alone time, all right? All right, dog. Hello. Is this still the number for Lester Crest? Who's asking? Who's asking? Who's asking? You're awful cagey. <laughs> Even for a dead man, Michael. Ooh, you don't sound good, buddy. <laughs> Tactful and charming, even in death. Hey, come see me, old friend. I'm living in Los Santos, just like you. Marietta Heights. Whoa, whoa, wait. Hey, how do you... Hello? You fucker. through my appointment book, and I don't see your name. Yeah, well, I'm more of a walk-in guy, Doc. You know that. Walk-ins are more expensive, but I'm always happy to accommodate. 
Sure, you'll accommodate me as long as I got money in my pocket, right? Hey, I'm in a bad way, Doc. I might come by soon. Come in, Michael. Uh, yeah, thanks, Doc. How have you been? Oh, good. Things been good. No, actually, things ain't been good. Things been a far fucking way from good. I've been uh, acting out. That's what you would call it, I think, right? Acting out. So what exactly has been the problem? I'm not good, Doc. Not good at all. I'm sorry to hear that. Tell me. I don't know. I guess we've been having these conversations long enough that I, I can recognize a trigger when I see one. You know, shit that's gonna put me right over the fucking edge. Like my family, my son, <laughs> my daughter, my wife, especially my wife. I mean, they just set me right off, Doc. You know, there's been this episode. You know, actually it was a culmination of a series of episodes. I pulled this Mexican's house right off the fucking hill. I mean, I, I think I'm back in it, Doc. I'm back into life. I mean, I gotta make some money, and there's only a couple ways I know how to do it. You feel the need to explain your decisions, Michael. Take responsibility. So, any other violent urges, friend? <sighs> I ain't been a good boy, Doc. I mean, you know, things just... All of a sudden, get up on top of me, right fucking on top. And then I lose my shit, and I hurt people, and then I feel... I really...
we'll take a bike ride along Vespucci Beach, and I'll show you just what you want to see. This day was going so well until you showed up, you know that? Ugh! Yeah, well, you're lucky to even be allowed out of the house after that boat stunt. What's the big deal? Watch it! If I'm hanging with you, I'm listening to my music. Oh, hell yeah. What's the big deal? If anything goes wrong, you can just fake your death and start all over. How am I meant to develop my own moral sensibilities when yours are so unbelievably fuck-based? Don't push me. Seriously, some guys borrow your bow. Borrow? You were hiding in the head crying kidnapped. They just took receipt of your property with payment pending. Pull it. And who knows what they would have done if they found me. But I didn't expect or want them to get killed. You think I'm gonna let some guys ride off with my son? Look, I knew you were a bad guy, but... Oh, a bad guy. A crook, a killer, a thief, a liar. I guess I've been all those things one time or another, right? It's just... What? <sighs> I always thought I was the good guy. God help the morally bankrupt planet your generation have left us if you're the good guy. Yeah. Anyway, I always knew you were the kind of person who didn't let other people get in the way, but I hadn't, like, seen that happen before. Yeah, well, that's me, Jim. And I've been trying my best to get things under control for the last ten years, but that was an extreme fucking situation, and I had to act. A normal person wouldn't have done that. Yeah, well... I had to. To protect you. Yeah, keep telling yourself that when you see their faces every time you close your eyes. What is this bullshit? Here we are, the bike rental place. Please don't shoot the bike rental guy out of, like, force of habit. I'm bowling twice. Hey, you. Two bikes. You Take your pick. So what if he's older? I totally bang him. Yo, thanks. If I make it to the end of the pier first, you're gonna buy me a big ass new flat ah! screen. Oh! Ah! Into the pier, fine. But if you lose, you're gonna do something with your life. Give it up, Dad. You've got to see. In this kind of condition, a triathlon would kill you. <sighs> Try and take me then! All that smack talk ain't gonna put me off my stride. Oh, I'm about to pass out. When I wake up, please let this nightmare be over. like you're buying your own TV. You know, this is real nice, Dad. Bonding, good times. Yeah, yeah, I'm giving it my best shot. Come on, we're having fun, right? You would... Whoa! Hey! Wait!
Thank you. <laughs> I, I'm a dancer. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Manti. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dad? Plus, we're taking you out of here. Dad, you're embarrassing me. These are my friends. Yeah, you're embarrassing her, dude. They're shooting porno here. They shoot porno all over town. Mom rented our house to them last summer. That was what? Your house? Yeah. Man, you gotta kill her pad, Mr. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Let's go. <laughs> Those walls can talk. You think I do it? Hey. No. Hey. Shit, ain't Daddy. cool, man. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey. Ah, hey. ah, man. Come. I like that. What's the problem? You're such Ask a me. jerk. Come on. Dad, you dumbass. These guys are serious. Yeah, well, so am I. Talk to the scene of my fucking boat. Oh, motherfuckers. Get on! Now! I'm about to skin you alive! God damn it! Go! Shit! They're coming after us! Go into that outlet! All right! All right! If we keep going this way, who the fuck are these people? Oh, you know, TV people, celebs, serious drug dealers. Well, since when did TV people and drug dealers start hanging out? Come on, Dad, it's Los Santos. Move, Papa. Back off, assholes. smashed my TV, and he took me to the beach. The beach, with my skin. So what, you sent him out to spoil my day, too? I didn't know that he was gonna come get you. I just told him where you were. You know, he got that crazy look in his eyes, you know, like he gets sometimes, and he just went. I'm getting a cab. I'm coming with you. How about I just drive us home? You ruined my life. Chitni badi koti ho be ne sadan bo. Gali gali de kute pungal we have to ignore. As you know, mere apne hai shirri gin juice. Let them freaking know, let them go. 